Coding boot camps are one of the fastest and easiest way that a lot of people would pursue because that means it's faster for people to learn how to code and actually land it a job as a developer. Nowadays, coding boot camps are everywhere. I can see so many different coding boot camps are offered either in person or online. And in today's video, in 2024, I want to talk about my honest opinions about all of these coding boot camps and is it still worth it nowadays? <laughs> Welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Vicky May and I am a full-time software engineer in New York City. In today's video, I wanted to dive into a topic that maybe some of you guys might be interested in when you are considering applying or purchasing a coding bootcamp education. So a lot of the videos that I posted previously, I know that I talked about how to learn to code and also different resources online but in particularly I also post a ton of videos about coding boot camps now a lot of you guys might come to me and wanted to know that in this economy does coding boot camps still helps for you to get a job there are so many layoffs like does the dynamic changes like what are my honest opinions about that so let's just talk a little bit about that I got my teacups with me today and we're gonna spill some tea and I'm gonna tell you some of my honest opinions about the job market and about coding boot camps. Here are a few things that I want you to know. Number one is that coding boot camps won't make you a developer. I'm not over here trying to trash on coding boot camps or any kind of educational systems as a whole. I think indeed coding boot camps does teach you the knowledge that you needed to turn you into a programmer. However, I feel like programming is is not just about knowing enough of knowledge because web development or any type of programming is always involving especially when it comes to like software engineering one day it's all about like mobile development one day it's all about AI and currently everywhere that you go is talking about AI so I think that for me looking back the most important skill is just to learn on your own and learning how to learn new things and keep yourself open-minded to all these newer technologies and being able to learn it as as you go and apply those knowledge into development. Other than that, I also think that social skills are very important. I would say that coding bootcamps does give you the opportunity to collaborate with other learners, but that doesn't necessarily giving you the opportunity to work in a team with designers and product managers and all of that. But in real life, you do have to work as a team. You're not just like this one person who does everything. It's all about collaboration so it is important that you can learn technical things from coding bootcamp but there are other things that makes a developer great and those things are like social skills collaboration skills communication skills and being open-minded to newer technologies and all of that adds up to make you a great developer number three is that bootcamp grads have flooded the job market unfortunately this is what the current market is Back in 2015 and 2018, like during that time period, I would say it's probably like the prime time for bootcamp grads. That is because back in the days, there are way more jobs, there's more demand for these type of developers. Back in the days, it would be hardly, hardly has any kind of serious technical interviews. But now, it's like the technical interviews are getting harder and harder. And it's getting more difficult because there's just a large amount of talent just like floating around in the job market and looking for the next opportunity. So unfortunately, this is the case. Especially, there are so many big tech companies got layoffs or a few rounds of layoffs. A lot of developers who has like years of experience 
students are looking for a mid-level or a senior level position for other companies. So what I've been seeing in the market so far is that I'm seeing a lot of low bar offers from these positions, including big tech companies like Google, Meta, Netflix, etc. What I think you need to think about now is how do you stand out in this rough market as a software developer? Besides just the technical skills, like what else do you offer to the table? And if you're interested about analyzing or how to analyzing your strengths and your weaknesses, I would recommend you to watch Watch this video that I posted last week about how you can land a job in this rough market. I have spent like maybe 20 to 30 minutes in this video talking about how you can look at yourself and a third party's perspective and really rethink about your positions. Like how do you stand out in this really rough market competing with other people who are literally like got out from layoffs and also looking for jobs at the same time as you, but with years of experience. Now that you really have to consider is that a lot of these offers are probably not going to be matching what your expectations are. A lot of these lowball offers are giving out because there are so many competitions and they know that they can give you a lower offer and still getting the same talent that they need. So now you have to kind of, you know, like rethink about dealing with accepting these lower offers and really reconsider your expectations and your situation. Now here is the thing, I don't want it to sound like negative. I don't want this video to bring you more stress than you're already having stress. I want you to know the truth and I want you to really think about spending that time and that money into a coding bootcamp and if that's even worth it. There's always going to be a lot of different advantage of investing education in yourself, investing into improving yourself and learning a new skills. But I don't necessarily think that coding bootcamp is the only way you can do that. There's a ton of resources online that you can learn on your own, at your own pace, with a okay job that pays you to pay the bills so you don't have to stress about quitting your job and commit it into a three months worth of coding bootcamp to do what you want to do. I think that with the rising of AI, there are easier way for you to learn to code, to find payer programming partners, and to network with people to give you more opportunities. It isn't necessarily means that coding bootcamp is the only way that you can become a software engineer. I think there's other ways that you can do that. And I hope this video is helpful. Let me know what you think in the description down below. I would love to hear what your thoughts about coding bootcamp now. And also if you already graduated from a coding bootcamp recently, what do you think about the job market and share all these informations that you have with us because I would love to hear what you think. And until next time, I will talk to you soon. Stay safe and adios.